Hey guys, Paul for Phone Arena here. As you most probably know, the newest iPhones have this feature called Live Photos. While you're capturing a photo, the phone automatically records a short video, which you can preview afterwards. As you also probably know, Samsung's Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge have a similar feature called Motion Photo. But are they identical? Not really. So let's check out their tiny differences. There are a few major differences between live photos and motion photos. Naturally, the most obvious one is how you view them. On the iPhone 6s, you just press on the image. If you have an older device that doesn't have 3D touch, just tap and hold. On the Galaxy S7, viewing a motion photo is done by tapping this little icon here. A separate player will open to show you the short clip. On the iPhone, the camera will shoot before and after you take the actual photo. This means that when you activate a live photo, you will not only see the moments that led to the picture, but what happened shortly after that. Additionally, the Apple solution will record audio together with the frames. Samsung's motion photo will only record up until the point you press the shutter key and it will not capture audio. As a plus, however, while viewing a motion photo, you can pause the playback at absolutely any point and export that frame as a new picture. Last but not least, Samsung offers a native way for you to export a motion photo into an MP4 video file. On the iPhone, exporting live photos to a clip or GIF file requires a third-party app to be downloaded, though that's not such a big issue. Well, there you go. Not huge differences, but definitely some defining nuances which may sway your opinion towards which feature you like better. I've been Paul for Phone Arena. Thanks for checking us out. Do subscribe if you haven't, and see you next time.